do you as a homeschool parent make your kids do school year all along a year long how are your breaks uh figured out what do you do when you want to go somewhere plan vacation that sort of thing and those are the questions you can ask or questions you might want to ask me as someone who homeschools on the road stick around in this video i'm going to talk about how we plan our year and what that looks like so stay tuned First, yes, I did change locations because I rarely make videos all in one shot. So changing locations is just a thing you see from me in my videos. All right, so how do I plan my year? So what I do is at the beginning of my school year, I look ahead and I just kind of see when I definitely want to take a break. Like there was two weeks, like in in the March, beginning of April, I took a break. Um, and we take breaks on um, like plan travel days we don't take a we don't do school we take breaks on birthdays and major holidays and i try not to do school like suddenly every week for more than like six weeks in a row i think after six weeks we just all need a break i also don't follow a typical school year i don't do school from like september through like may or june for the whole summer off the benefits of traveling full-time is that we can go where the wherever we want basically pretty much wherever we want with the weather and activities and things. Last year we were in Texas for a whole year and we basically established a residency for Texas. So we, were, we decided, well, Texas is a really easy state to follow with homeschool rules. And we decided, you know, instead of them watching TV for hours a day while they're stuck inside, from the heat, let's not let's not waste an opportunity. And we were like, well, let's just do some schoolwork today, and let's do some schoolwork tomorrow during the hottest part of the day in the air conditioned buildings. And um, before we knew it, by like September, they had finished the whole year. It's in Jackson's bag. And so um, I don't really worry about like a summer summer break because sometimes we'll take a few days off here, a few days off there. If we want to go do something, we'll take time off. I think it's more important over than like being really strict with your breaks for me i need flexibility to take a break when i want to not only for the kids sake of like okay we've done school for like a month straight let's take a break but because some days my ms has kicked my butt or my insomnia has been really bad the last few days my fatigue is in high gear and sometimes i just don't feel like it um so I need something to be flexible. So for me, schooling year round, basically from like January, side pocket, January through December 2nd, basically Thanksgiving, somewhere in there. Uh, it and It is more than 180 days. It is enough time to complete a whole history book or a whole this or that. And another benefit of us traveling around is that we're able to um, take the, take, um, Take advantage of, um, what was I going to say? Take advantage of learning opportunities as they appear. So like zoos or museums or activities, things like that. So that's, I guess, is a very winded say, winded way to say that we school year round and we take we take breaks when we feel the need to, and also when I have them planned out. Next question coming up soon. So I've talked about like how I plan the school year out, but how exactly do I plan out what we're going to be doing each day? So my youngest is going to be 11 and he's never been public school. So I've been doing this like a decade and I've done it all. I've done like, let's plan a week at a time. Let's plan six weeks at a time. Let's write everything down in pen in the planner and, and be very meticulous about what we're going to do every day. But I like the planning process. I like planning what we're going to do on the long run and daily and weekly and all that. But then like, let's say someone's not feeling good or if there's like an event at the library or there's a birthday party or we're just gonna like spend the day like hiking at the Grand Canyon or something like that, then it's gonna be one day behind. And you should see my lesson planner from this past year. I was like writing it out, whiting out and crossing stuff out and erasing things. And so um, this past, like in January, I started using Trello. And so um, my Trello board, I have like Ileana grade eight and then each board on it, it'll say like reading, writing, language arts, history, math. And I have every single lesson throughout the book. And so no, I didn't write down every single um, thing from the table of contents. I went through and decided, okay, these are the things I know we're gonna be able to get done over the course of the following year. 
Um, so that's what I did. And so I was doing like, oh, let's do the next thing. Let's do the next thing. Mm, things still got left behind. So what I'm going to do, do, I'm going to do one of two ways. I'm going to just plan everything out in a paper planner and just check things off as they go. And then I can see, oh, we're like six weeks ahead on science, but we barely touched history. We can do more history. Or I might do, let's write down what they did afterwards. But I don't really do really good at like remembering to do that. So I think maybe just planning out what we're going to do and then like planning out my planned breaks of like spring break and Easter break and things like that. Probably. There's all different ways you can do it. I like having it written down so I can check it off. And I think um, I'm going to be getting all the kids their own planner. So I'm gonna maybe write down what they're gonna be doing in each, in each of their planners. And so then they can check off what they do as they do it. And then as, and then each week I will look in to see what they've done and then I can check it. The only stuff I wouldn't check on a weekly basis would most likely be math. I think that needs to be checked every day. So how do I plan it out? I just look in the table of contents and like there's some topics of science like Jackson's done dinosaurs and the water cycle almost every year. Like he can quote all that stuff. So that stuff I didn't really have him do this year. Uh, um, one, of, one of Ileana's science lessons was all about like the solar system. She's done astronomy last year, so we didn't need to do it again. So I feel like as a homeschool parent, I can make that decision. So I just look to see what needs to be done and then just plan it out. And another reason I like writing it in a planner is that I can see, okay, well, on this particular Tuesday, they have like a math test and a science test and a final edition of a essay. That's a lot of stuff to do on one day. So either I might break up the test to two different days or those might be just the three things that are due that day. It kind of just depends on your kid and what you feel like doing. And also what is required of your state. And um, the state of Texas where we're um, domiciled in is very laid back. There's no like reporting or sending in paperwork or getting permission to homeschool or things. Um, and there's no standardized testing you're required to do. In Oregon, we had to do standardized testing get into certain grades. And that was basically it. So it just varies from state to state. And it's really important that you follow the rules of the state that you are um, domiciled in. And if you're a full-time traveling family, um, basically it's wherever you are registered as a, like on your ID and your cards and stuff like that. So there's more to it than that, but that's basically the end of that. Um, so stay tuned for my next video where I'm going to walk you through how I figure out what they're going to be doing a week at a time because we're going to be traveling um, through several states. So I'm going to look to see when we're traveling and what is realistically we could be doing during the days that we're not traveling. Okay, so thank you again for watching this all the way to the end. Jackson, you got anything to add? No. No? Got ready to do math? Yeah. Yeah.